So, admittedly, it's been a couple of minutes since I put a video on the channel. So I just kind of wanted to uh, put something together today that just kind of showcases some of my favorite figures in my collection. Um, I was inspired by an Instagram post I saw from Daredevil19 where he just showed a couple of his favorite figures and he was just like, yeah, hey, what are some of yours? And I got thinking like, damn, you know what? That's a good question. So I figured let me put together a little video. This is going to be kind of casual, a little freestyle and video, nothing quite, uh, you know, not scripted or any of that kind of stuff. It's just me kind of talking about some figures off the cuff. All right, well, starting things off, obviously, we got to start strong with the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter line. Um, if you watch my top figures of 2017 videos, you already know, like, pretty much how I feel about these guys. But, man, if you've got these figures yourself, you already know how good they are. Um, I've got Chun-Li coming, uh, I believe, next month. Uh, I got the variant version with pink, so that should be cool. I do like getting the Player 2 colors for the Storm line. Because the figure arts come in like the standard like player one colors. Um, debating on whether I'm going to get the alternate color Zangief that they showed for Big Bad Toy Store. But I don't know. That's a hundred bucks. So we'll we'll see about all that. But Chun-Li is definitely on her way. But these are awesome figures. I can't stop messing with these guys. I got them on my desk and I really just can't put them down when I'm in the middle of editing a video or something. While it's rendering I get Zangief out and he starts, you know suplexing everybody moving on over to storm collectibles mortal Kombat line now right now every one of these figures is just repaints with some different accessories but they did such a good job with scorpion that every other figure that's come after him has been just as excellent and honestly like i don't feel like i'm being ripped off paying for repaints constantly because they're different enough and they are unique enough and in my opinion good enough figures that you know it's it's worth it to pay the the asking price for these guys um I cannot wait for Shao Kahn in a couple of months, and I want to see, hopefully at Toy Fair, hopefully they show um, painted samples of some of the ones that we saw last year. Like, I would love to see the Cyrax and Sector, like the Cyborgs, and Katana and Melina, like, painted up. And, God, if we're lucky, maybe even get a release date. If we got those by the end of the year, I'd be thrilled. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Storm Collectibles, just in general. I've gushed about them in my last couple of videos, so I'm going to put a stop to that for right now. Moving on. As all you know, I'm a big X-Men fan, and Wolverine was always kind of like one of my favorite characters. So, we got Hasbro's offering from the Juggernaut Wave. This is a great figure. Like, this Wolverine is probably... I mean, I don't think it's probably. I think it's, like, pretty much unmatched as the best Marvel Legends Wolverine we've ever got. And they're repainting this to be in the Tiger Stripe costume this year, which is this costume, by the way. Um, and I think that's going to be an awesome figure. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um... I think I was watching one of Boog Nice's videos, and he said something about, like, if they were to repaint this Wolverine in, like, his X-Force gray and black suit, how that would be good. And uh, I personally would like to see the Astonishing costume, which is that one back there, or, like, the more modern yellow and blue, I should say. Um, I'd love to see them do that with this um, mold, because it's great. Obviously, Mezco 112 Tiger Stripe Wolverine talked about him in my top figures of the... 2017 video um this is a great figure another one that i just can't stop messing with can't put it down same thing goes for rebel tech um again you know this figure is just really fun to pose obviously you can see a big gap in his shoulder there because of the way rebel tech figures are like the posing takes precedent over like actual anatomy and like what would and wouldn't be like possible as a real person but you know depending on how you look at it. like if you're looking at it head on you don't notice it but He's just a fun figure. Like, if you can take away some of the scientific accuracy of how the human body works, this guy's so fun to mess with. Um, so, yeah, three great Wolverines, three great options. Um, can't beat it. Moving on to Batman, my favorite superhero, and we got a couple of choices here. This is the old DC Superheroes one from, like, 2008, maybe? Um... This is, yeah, Mattel. This predates the DC Universe Classics ones. And it's kind of funny to me that we don't have, like, a really super articulated comic book Batman. Um, you know, think, like, in the vein of a Marvel Legends-style Batman. This is about as close as it's going to get. And he's even kind of limited. You know, he's got single joints in the elbows and the knees, and um, the hips are kind of, like, the range... Well, the, the hips are okay on this one, um, but the range isn't great. Um... It's a wonder, you know, this figure's been around 10 years almost, and we haven't really gotten a step up. Now, like, Figure Arts has done, like, movie versions and Injustice and, like, some of the other versions of Batman, but not just a straight-up comic book one. So, yeah, that's kind of why this one still holds the top spot for, like, my all-time favorite comic book Batman. 
And then obviously you got your Mezco 112 Dark Knight Returns. Got the blue and the black right here. Longtime fans of my channel have seen both of these guys pop up in stop motion. The Penguin, we got an easy victory and we could lead ourselves. Ah! Ah! Oh. What? <laughs> Um, when I did the top figures of 2015, I said that I preferred the blue version over the black, and I stand by that. I think it's a really nice figure, and it really pops on a display shelf. However, if you prefer the black version, I ain't gonna tell you you're wrong, because it's a great figure. Um, this is the first figure in Mezco's 112th Collective line, and honestly, I think it might still be one of their best. Your posability might be slightly hindered, because they're not meant to be, like, Marvel Legends or something, like... You might get rubber gloves or something that gets in the way of the elbow joint or, you know, just stuff like that. But for how unique these figures are, I don't think I really miss the posability. Um, I would like an ankle joint, honestly. It's got the hinge and that's fine, but, like, I'd like to be able to spread his legs out a little farther and have his feet be able to be planted on the ground. But that's just a minor nitpick from me. And lastly, we got the DC Collectibles. This is the Arkham Origins Batman. Um, this is a really strong figure. Um, out of all the video game Batman figures that have ever been made from the Arkham series, this one I think is the best one. Um, I didn't care for the Arkham Knight figure. I just don't think I really cared for his design in that game, honestly. Um, this, I really, really dug how he looked in the game. Like, it was like a little bit more simplistic compared to like the Arkham Knight version. So, I mean... Not much bad I can say about this figure, honestly. You got a little bit of limits in his movement because, again, single jointed elbows. And he's kind of a bulky figure, so you're not going to get the most optimal range out of him. But as far as a Batman figure goes, he's good. And then we got some army builders. These are Hasbro Star Wars figures. Um, I got the Biker Scout and I got the two Stormtroopers here. I do have a third Stormtrooper set up and I have also, you know, Sand Troopers and I have a TIE Fighter pilot and stuff like that. But... I don't know, something about these original trilogy army builders, like, Hasbro really does a good job with these guys. Um, I like that you get full range of motion in the Stormtroopers. Like, for some reason, Stormtroopers have double-jointed elbows, double-jointed knees, and pretty much all the articulation you could want, when some of their main characters don't even have that. So I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's fine with me, because I'm collecting them, but, you know, you look at Stormtroopers, and then you look at some of the main characters, and you're like, how come my main guy can't do the same pose that the Stormtrooper can do. Gotta give a special shout out to the Hot Toys Batman um, and Joker from the 1989 movie. Uh, these are the only two Hot Toys figures that I own and it's likely to stay that way thanks to the high price point and you know there's just not really much that I do with these guys except display them so I mean I have animated with them and I like how they look on camera and everything but I don't know I just prefer the smaller scale stuff I guess when it comes down to it but these guys are excellent figures, very happy to own both, and uh, yeah, they are really uncanny um, representations of the characters, so I think they did a great job of these, and you know, wanted to give them a special little shout out here. All right, moving on to the next wave here, we got the Ninja Turtles from Rebel Tech. Uh, these are based on the 2012 cartoon, and uh, that show is actually really good. Um, I watched the first season I think and I really enjoyed it and for whatever reason I fell off and like didn't catch any more after that um but I do want to go back and rewatch that because I did like how it was going um the IDW comic books were really good too I read through like a lot of those um and once again I kind of just got sidetracked and stopped reading them so I guess I got some catching up to do but these figures are awesome uh the Rebel Tech style really works well with these guys because their animated look makes it like, I don't know, you're not really focusing too much on, um, like, accuracy and anatomy and all that kind of stuff. You're just really kind of posing these guys around and having fun. And to that effect, they're awesome. I really like them. Moving on, these are the NECA comic book turtles from, I believe, 2008. Um, I have the color versions, too, um, from the original comic book, so they all have, like, their red masks and everything. But um, these versions just... I prefer them. They stand out. They're really awesome. They're really unique figures. So, I mean, these are going to be catching people's eyes. Like, if they walk into your display and you got these guys. Um, I think these are probably NECA's best Ninja Turtles that they've ever made. Uh, they've done a couple since then, like the video game ones and the Comic-Con releases and all that. But, I don't know, to me, you just can't beat these original ones. Really well done. Great articulation. Um, 
awesome spot on likeness to the comics, especially these guys since they're done in the exact comic book style. So really cool. Um, yeah, some of my favorites. And lastly over here, we got some SH Monster Arts because you know I had to show a few of these. Um, this is Millennium Godzilla, the original release. This is actually the first Monster Arts figure I got and it kind of started me down the dark path of buying all these monsters. Um, you know, I've gotten other Godzilla since then and a bunch of other monsters in general. But this one kind of remains one of my favorites. Like, it's just really cool looking. I have animated him in Dimension War, and he was in the beginning of the Aftermath series I did. Was using mind control tactics to coerce the other gods that was going to attack. And just a lot of fun. Um, to me, he's probably my favorite of the Godzillas that have been released so far. And counter to that, you got Mothra, another great figure from uh, Monster Arts. Uh, and a little more limited with what you can do with Mothra because of the wings being like solid pieces like that. But, you know, all the little legs underneath are articulated, the antenna, the mouth, the head, like it's all ball joints and everything. And it looks really good. Like you can see the paint work on it is really nice. Um, there has been a re-release. Um, I'm not sure if the re-release is basically the same thing with just slightly different colors, I believe. Um, not 100% sure on that. This is the original one. But yeah, just I like the look of Mothra. I mean, I always have. And you've, if you've seen Godzilla Aftermath on my channel, you know that, you know, Mothra plays a pretty big part in that video. So I definitely am happy to have Mothra in my collection. So that's going to wrap this up. Um, obviously, you know, I've got a lot of other figures, too, that I just didn't mention. There's a ton of WWE Elite stuff that I really like. There's... Just all the Dragon Ball Z figures from Figure Arts. Um, I like a lot of them too. But I don't know. I just wanted to touch on a couple of different things that I don't talk about quite as much. Like the Ninja Turtles and all that kind of stuff. Like viewers of my channel might not, uh, you know, maybe haven't seen some of these figures before. But anyway, let me know what you think. You like these figures? Let me know what some of your favorite figures are in your collection. Uh, leave a comment. Let's get a dialogue going. All right, all right. My name is Captain McKay. Um, going to be releasing JWF versus Super Tiger Pro Wrestling at some point pretty soon. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, and I think it's going to be uploaded in, like, installments. So, like, part one will come to, and it'll be, like, a recap style, like my old Warzone episodes were. So, that'll be cool. Um, I had a lot of fun making the first part, and uh, it's going to be fun to, to share with you guys. All right. Take it easy. Have a good day. We'll catch you on the next time. That's crispy.